We back, back in Pack Hunter's land. We've got a March of the Machines pre-release. That's right. Uh, what has this thing got in there? Well, hopefully uh, you guys don't judge me for spending 25 uh, Canadian doubloons on this. But it uh, looks like six draft boosties, one traditional foil with rare mythics, and other words that are too small to read through my phone. Hey guys, while you see me actually decide not to use a knife and uh, use the uh, pull tab that they have included, uh, why don't you go and just hit that like and subscribe button? Why don't you go ahead and hit that freaking bell button? Why? Because you love us and we love you. And you know what? We actually love you more than you love us. Go ahead and prove me wrong. Oh God, I wanted to show the artwork. Ah, look what, what you've done to my girl. Um, yeah, so there's like little plus one, plus one tokens and yeah, no, that's totally not ruined. We've got those that are for planeswalker things maybe, I don't know. Hey, screw it, let's just jump into this bad boy. Oh God, a die just rolled across the floor. If I roll, if I roll a number, I'm gonna get an Elish Norn, which I believe is the highest value card. <laughs> uh, no, I totally didn't roll off the table and negate anything. Um, it was definitely a number. Okie dokie then. We have a foiled progenitor's Exarch. Hey, if you're watching this video and you're like, oh my goodness, I need more pack hunters. I need more of this. Um, why don't you freaking sub? Because my boy, Mike, ooh. My boy, Mike, is about to open up a lot more packs. And you know we are getting all of the gas when that happens. So we got this foiled progenitors. Watch me, who's it? Nah, I'm not super enthused. And we have a Catilda and Lear, green, white, blue. When you cast an uh, when you cast a human spell, target instant or sorcery caught in your graveyard gains flashback, and the flashback is equal to its mana cost. That's actually pretty dope. I would love to, uh, you know, be able to cast like I don't know a counter spell, a negate, hell, an opt. I need those uh, real cheapos. All right, let's jump into it there, chaps. Aiko Shade. Onake Javelinier. That card. That card. Like I said, there's six. So we, we've got, uh, what is that? I just opened one and one minus... <sighs> one minus six is like, ah, sheesh. I think it's a number. I don't, um, one minus six is, okay, one minus six is 19. So we have 19 more packs to go. And we have a rampaging geoderm. Geoderm? Yeah, nailed that one. For our first uncommon with a tramp tasty, you're paying four for a three three. When you attack, target attacking creature gets plus one plus one to another turn. If it's attacking a battle, you get a plus one plus one counter on it instead. So that's all about that March of Machines uh, theme there. Ooh boy, this sucker costs eight for us eight eight with trample and hexproof. Uh, don't at me, but that's actually a great value. You tell me I pay eight to give something to, to get an eight eight with hex proof, and it's gonna jump through anything that's you know below it. Uh, love that. Sweet herbal herbology instructor. Okay, what is this like Harry Potter themed or something? Enters battlefield, you gain three life. You can pay six in Phyrexian mana. You know we love that. Um, you transform it. What you transform into? 
Spang, Malady, <laughs> or Malady, Invoker. Uh, buh, buh, buh. When this creature transforms, target creature and opponent controls gets minus zero minus X until end of turn where X and Malady's Invoker's power. Forevermore, she will be known as Malady, not Malady. Uh, Okadokal. Don't even look at that. Uh, our battle siege is Invasion of Belenon. Sweet. No, no, it's not bad. I just yeeted that card out of my uh, hand there. Don't worry. She's back. Complete the circuit. Five and a blue. You can convoke it. That makes it faster. Or make it makes it easier. And you can cast sorcery spells this turn as though they had flashed. Liddy titty. When you next cast an instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell twice. That's going in Riku. Yay, yay. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's, let's dial it back. Uh, but you may choose new targets for that copies. You may. You don't have to, though. What are you doing, jury master of the review? Looking saucy with these chains just chilling in that chair like it's the freaking Iron Throne. Whenever you sack a permi, put a plus one plus one counter on her, and then when it dies, it deals damage equal to its power to any targi. Uh, I'm about it. What do you guys think? Thornwood Falls. Enters tapped. Not a fan. When it enters, you gain a life. I'm a fan. Tap for a green or a blue. I'm a fan. And we got a Saoji. All right, let's keep it moving. Okay, if you're still here, get in them comments and uh, tell us your favorite day of the week. It's Tuesday. I don't care what you have to say. You know it's Tuesday. I know it's Tuesday. Why is it Tuesday? Because you don't have those Monday, like, stressful things. Wednesday's on the horizon. And, uh, you know, Thursday gets a lot of love, but it's really not that great. And Friday, oh, yeah. Look, all I'm saying is Tuesday. Give my Tuesday some love. I may or may not be naming my firstborn after that day of the week. Invasion of the Moag? Okay. Let's uh, flip this little girl around. Oh. Blood Wielder Dryads. She's got Ward 2 at the beginning of your end step. Put a plus one, plus one counter target creature you can draw. Okay. Sweet. Doom Scar Warrior. Back up one. She's got Trampy. And whenever this creature deals combat damage to the player, to a player or battle, look at that many cards from the top of your lib. Reveal a creature card or land from among them. Put it in your hand. Put the rest of them all your lib in the random million. Okay. Tetsuko Umezawa Fugitive. Fugitive. Words are hard. Creatures you control with power or toughness, one or less, can't be blocked. That's got to be high value. That's pretty lit. Interesting. I have not really... Shocker, James didn't do a whole lot of due diligence before the video. Uh, that to me sounds really dope. Am I an idiot and I'm thinking it's better than it is? Am I an idiot because it's way better than I already think it is? Am I just an idiot? Hit us up in those comments. All right, we have a foiled invasion of Arcavios. Three, two, blue. Uh, when it enters, search your lib, grave, or and or outside the game. Pour an instant or source card from a uh, card you own. <laughs> That'd be funny if it was one you didn't own. Reveal it. Put it in your hand. If you search your lib this way, shuffle. Okay. Flippy. Uh, invocation of the Founders. Enchantmonte. When you cast an instant or sorcery spell from your hand, you may copy that spell. 
you may choose new targs for that Kiawe. Uh, I've got a Riku deck that it could go in. What are the colors? Just straight up blue. Yeah, sweet. All right, Tranquil Cove. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have a Tranquil Cove. Yeah, no, I was totally tranquil enough. God damn, ASMR is killing it. You want to gain a life when you play this land? You can. First mate, Ragavand. Yeah, screw that. I'd love to have a just straight up Ragavand. Not the freaking Ragavand first mate. Hey guys, when you're uh, watching these videos, I just want you to remember that you are a deck master. I don't care how many times you've played. I don't care how many times you've lost. I don't care how much money you've spent. Be it $5, be it $5,000. <clears> this means that you are a deck master. Just a simple purchase of Magic the Gathering cards makes you a deck master okay we got a halo forger that doesn't look like sierra 117 but uh, maybe in an alternate universe but we love fairies mm, stoke the flames like the convoke like dealing vor damage to any dark Uh, Tarkir Dune Shopper. Well, it's got Phyrexian, and like I've said in a couple of our previous videos, anytime you got Phyrexian mana, you know we are about that life. What does it transform into? I'm going to kind of like put it off to the side so you don't see. Jow! Burnished Dune Stomper. So, 4 3 with Trample. Wow, that was a little anticlimactic. Tikyong. Invasion of Kylam. When enters the battlefield, up to two target creatures you control get plus two plus zero and game. Okay. Okay, that looks like a good card, so we're gonna kinda like flippy so you don't see. Well, at least I don't see. I don't know if you can see like off to the side. Valor's Reach Tag Team. Uh, okay. Alright. Realm Breaker, the invasion tree. Three, and then uh, once it's out there, you can pay two, tap, target opponent, mills. Three cards, put a land card from that graveyard onto the battlefield, tapped under control. Ooh, okay. If this land would leave the battlefield, exile it instead. Okay. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. You pay ten, tap, sack this mo mofo. Search your lib for any number of Praetor cards. Put them onto the battlefield, then shuffle. Huh. Okay. Uh, I feel like you could probably break this card. Especially in CEDH. If you got the uh, the bills to pay the gills to make them chills. For reals. Uh, like and subscribe if you uh, want to hear more of these dope rhymes. Bang! We have a... Uh, Fear Judge, Judge of Valion, or Valor also, as that word is pronounced. Two planes, two swampies, fire, life length, with a 2-4, whenever you cast your second spell each turn, look at the top three cards of your lid, put one of them on your, into your hand, and the rest in your graveyard. That's, uh, pretty good. Sweet. And a meow meow, and another ha ha. Hey, look, I love you for sticking with us. I mean, Jesus Christ. James has to freaking organize all of this. And by organizing, I mean just chuck in a freaking closet and then never look at again because he has a crippling, crippling anxiety when it comes to future tasks. That's right. When James opens up packs, he says... Screw future James. That's his job to shuffle and organize. So opposite of shuffle, just straight up organize all these keywords. 
Hey, uh, Magic the Gathering, uh, why don't you, like, sponsor our vids? So, so I can, I don't know, create some sort of robot to do this for me? That being said, I actually love these cards, and I love going back through them. So even though I do have a couple of piles in my house where it's just, like, stressing me out, like, ah... That's not because I don't love the game. It's because I love it too much and I want to put them in like super exact order. I do it by like card, like, you know, creature, dwarf, berserker. So it's alphabetical order. So it's not, it's going to be after dwarf, but before dwarf, I don't know, dwarf children. Yeah, that's totally a card. We have a Marshal of a Zalfir. Other knights you control get plus one, plus one. So knight tribal, play white, blue, tap. Tap another target creature. Hmm, not terrible. You know we about that Phyrexian life. What's this mofo transform into? Flipping it off screen, we're back. Okay, deals combat damage to a player or, or battle draw card. Did I already open this or is this just like another freaking? All right, here we go. Battlefield Siege. Are there other types of battlefields? James definitely did the research and knows that there are. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Uh, anxious Battlefield Revealing. Nailed it. Flipping. Okay, we get a 4-4 four, four drag. Uh, whenever drag you control attacks, deals 2 damage to any target. Don't tell Khaleesi because she is fuego. Oh, what are you? An offensa, kin tree spirit. Two planes, dope artwork. Whenever another non-toke creature enters the battlefield under your control... Bolster one, which means you choose a creature with the least toughness among creatures you control and put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Uh, dope. I mean, it's super token focus, but we are about that life, y'all. Ending it with a mountain. Excuse me, ending it with an incubator token. All right. Hey, don't you freaking click away. We got two more. Boom, 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 boom. Be the born vamp. Sorcery. Inst. That instant. Another creature. So tell me, guys. Did anybody else, aside from uh, Mikhail, get into the secret lair stuff? I had intended on it. Um... But James may have had a couple of late night um, cups of tea and bought a different thing that cost mm, a little bit more money that's not coming out till August. Um, it's like Commander something something. Yeah, that's right. James doesn't even remember what... <laughs> What it's called that he spent all that money on. Uh, so stick around for that because guess what? He could have a freaking Mana Crypt. Sorry, I, I was busy uh, looking away at other things. Dusk Legion Duelist. One in a plane. Vigilance. Whenever one or more plus one plus one counters... I put on it, draw a card. This ability triggers only once each turn. Be great if it was multiple times. Yargle, Glutton of Urborg. Well, I love Yargle as a straight-up creature. I love Gluttony because I'm fat. And I love anything that's got Urborg. <laughs> um, okay, so it's four in a forest. Maybe I'm just misremembering what Yargle is. And this is a reprint. I think that's what this is because that's straight up like the same type of stuff. Yarkle is like it just no nonsense. 
I thought it was a 6-3. Maybe this is a 9-3 and I'm just an idiot. Like and comment below if James is an idiot. <laughs> yeah, like, like the video if James is an idiot. Uh, Seed of Hope. Mill two cards. Let me put a perm card from among them that uh, the blah, 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 among the milled cards into your hand, you gain two life. Well, it's cheap and uh, it's hopeful, but dismal backwater. All right, enters tapped, gain a life, taps for blue, black, dope. Incubator. Hey, you freaking heathens. That's right, y'all stay for the last. And you know what? I actually hid the highest value card in this pack. I like opened it and then I like resealed it with like magic or something. I don't, uh, like a heat gun. Maybe that's the thing. And uh, yeah, that's right. I, the highest value card is gonna be in here. Imagine how dope that would be if I actually got it. I mean, imagine how dope it would be if I didn't because you know I already put it in there. <clears throat> yep, Rampaging Geodrum. Did we already get that? Yeah, we did. Omen Hawkach. Tap, I had a colorless and a blue spin this man only activate abilities. Interesting. Um, if you can give it like haste, I think that might be pretty litty. Tell me in the comments why I'm stupid and that's not true. Three and Phyrexian Transformy. Okay, and you're playing one and a blue. Also, anytime you're dealing with Phyrexian and you're, you've got white, I mean, it's like not even... We're going to hide it over there. It's like not even a question. I mean, come on, you can gain so much life in white. All right, when it becomes blocked by a creature, that creature gains minus one, minus one until end of turn. That's really not that great. Okay. Invasion of Eldraine. Okay. Let's go. Hopefully got super hyped about that. Uh, when I just battlefield, uh, targeted opponent discards two cards. That's super dope if I'm only playing one other person. But it flips to a 2-2 two -two flyer, which at the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, if that player has two or fewer cards in hand, deals two damage to him. I guess I'm committing to like a mill deck. Fairy Mastermind, let's go. Pretty sure that's in like the top 10 value. My iPad where I have like the prices listed has turned black because this video is 23 minutes long. Yikes. Uh, but hey, you're paying one and a blue for a flyer with flash. And whenever an opponent draws their second card each turn, you draw a card. And you can also play, play, you can also pay for each player draws a card. Interesting. Great card. Last part's like kind of fun to mess with, but really just one, two, and three is, 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 is why this card is highly valued. I'm positive this one is up there. A Yara Fist first. <clears throat> A Yara first. Of Lachwain. Definitely have this one already. You're paying three swamps. And uh, whenever another black creature enters the battlefield under your control, each opponent loses life and you gain a life. You can tap it, sack another black creature, and draw a card. Yeah, so the one I have is not this interesting artwork. What do we guys think? Peeps, Pack Hunter, Crew, Fam. We haven't come up with a name for y'all yet. Uh, yeah, I'm about it. Although that dude... I hate that guy. He looks like a freaking dweeb. Moving on. Uh, it looks like we're going to end it with a Scoured Brahmins. <clears throat> also known as Scoured Barons. Enters tapped. You're going to gain the life. We got a little black blue. <laughs> White black action. Freaking James is... Uh, yeah, no, he's, uh, he's falling off here. And Treasure Toki. Hey y'all, thanks for watching, thanks for liking, thanks for subscribing, thanks for hitting them comments. Just uh, keep checking in. We love you. We've got videos dropping all the freaking time. 
So tell us how tall you think our friend Yanni is. He is definitely taller than five foot one. Peace.